Each year, over 3,500 FRC teams are tasked with designing a robot from scratch to compete in that year's competition. But as this one team has figured out, this is a daunting task that can only be accomplished by splitting it into smaller, more manageable divisions. I'm Avery Kilpatrick, and you're about to meet the Tech Hounds. You're with the construction division lead, Kevin Russo. Kevin, what division in Tech Hounds really thinks sets us apart from other FRC teams? I really think that our PR division is very unique and takes a load off all the other um, divisions and their responsibilities, but at the end of the day, they really connect us all and we all know what the other divisions are doing. The PR division, short for public relations, takes care of all marketing responsibilities and more. Not only do they handle all social media, make the newsletter, and compile clips for the end of your video, they also play a big part in maintaining the relationships with our sponsors. Just here, which division do you think makes Tech Hounds the scene that it is? Um, probably programming with people. Our amazing programming and electrical division is in charge of many responsibilities. Not only do they code and wire the robot, they also code a new scouting system each year to match the event. Hey David, what division do you think sets that kind of part? I think, honestly, RoboDops is the division that's really integral to the team working as a whole. Here's our RoboDops division. In charge of all mechanical aspects of the robot, until RoboDops has a final design ready, programming and electrical will not be able to wire the robot. So Aiden, what division do you think Techcons cannot look about? You know, I think the construction division is one of the most crucial parts of Tech Hounds because they build our practice field, which allows us to practice what we've built and rehearse, rehearse quote unquote, for our competitions. Without that, we wouldn't be able to test the autonomous code or even driver practice. Last but most certainly not least, our construction division. They construct a whole practice field from scratch each year and also make items for our auction, which brings in a sizable amount of income that goes towards the team. So, Gavin, as an experienced member on the team, how have you seen the different divisions work together to build the best job that we can? Um, I feel like we all do, uh, everyone does a really good job in teamwork. All the divisions depend on each other uh, pretty heavily throughout build season and the rest of the preseason. For instance, Robot Ops needs construction to build the practice field. Um, construction and Robot Ops. Robot Ops needs electrical and electrical and Robot Ops because they're the ones who actually build the robot. Um, you know, it's really cool to see everyone kind of gel and uh, work towards one big thing, which is what engineering is all about. Now to meet the member that keeps our whole operation together, our team lead, Piper Ellie. Piper, what are your responsibilities within the team? Well, the thing about Tech Hounds is that it's, it's almost entirely student run. For example, I do most of the administra administrative duties on the team. Like I answer emails, I do the attendance, um, I um, help with the parent board and keeping them in contact with the team. I also help the team to fill out a lot of, um, a lot of grants to help with our fundraising. Ovia, as a new member, what has made Tech Hounds a very valuable experience? My first joining this club, I thought this club would have something that you need, like other experience. But I've learned a lot of new stuff in this club, so there's nice, there's really good mentors that you can learn to Thank you, Coach Griggs. This is your first year as a Tech Hounds coach. What about the team made you want to join? Well, besides uh, first robotics being one of the most awesome sporting events in the nation, these kids are the ones that made me want to be a coach. The kids that. Um, fit in here or there and this program brings them all together and they uh, each have separate talents that are needed in order to make our team successful and um, I just wanted to be a part of it. I've seen 868 from a, from a distance at other schools from other schools and uh, it's been an honor just to um, be with these students this year and I look forward to, uh, to see what we can accomplish and you know at the end of the year if uh, we don't win a thing but the kids learn something and have fun I think that would be a successful season. So who are you and why do you think Tech Hounds is such a great team? Um, I'm Danny Arbuckle. Um, I'm an alumni of this team and what makes it so great is just that you got a lot of great people, a lot of great kids that will all come together and just they teach each other great values. They can take all aspects of it. Same question to you. Well, I'm uh, Mr. Walls. I came to the team uh, four years ago as a member. Uh, I think this is a, a great opportunity for the kids to learn new skills. Um, um, production, um, and they also come together and have to work as a team in order to kind of coordinate with each other to make a big problem. Uh, Ms. Castle, what do you think makes Tech Hounds so special? What I think makes Team Tech Hounds so special is my favorite thing is the community. And I love hanging out with the kids. Preseason, I only get to see them one time a week. Yes. Then I get to spend Monday through Friday with you guys. But I think um, the team building and building a community, like late nighter and um, season activity, is important. Yes. It makes for good high school memories, too. Thank you. Back to you. You say how, Tech! Hey!